everyone. Good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon, depending on what time of the world you're in. This is Carla of GiggleFest University, and I'm working on a journey to change my mindset to an abundant one. But in order to be change of mindset, we need to define abundance. And in my mind, abundance changes as we're growing. We often forget that a person is abundant in so many different ways. Finances have never been my strong point. I am working on changing that. But abundance doesn't need to be just finances. I have a lot going for me. I have some really super good friends. I have some really good super duper um, support around me. But I've had some challenges when it comes to finances and it's not because I keep I go out and just spend money it's because I don't know how to deal with money I don't know how to make how to budget money as far as good friends I mean I have some very amazing people who are on my side. I have an, an amazing, excuse me, I have a cold, I'm not feeling my best. I have an amazing um, house. It's small, but it's comfortable and it's big and it fits, um, it allows me to have two cats and a dog. The dog's small, um, the cats are, and the dog are, are very loving. So I am constantly around people who love me or animals who love me. I have friends around me who obviously love me. Um, and somehow without looking very hard I get through the month and I get through it without I get through it with some financial struggle but there's always some aid going on so to me that's a sign of abundance but to make this abundance more worthwhile I need to collect I don't want to say collect but I need to be able to bring in some money <coughs> I have the learn English by speaking English show which is extremely successful but at the same time I'm not earning money doing it. So we need to figure out a way, or I need to figure out a way to bring in more finances, to make my finances more abundant. I need to also accept what I have. Yesterday I spoke about people who came, who said some wanted to improve themselves but in improving themselves they were saying i cannot or i don't have and i do that myself a friend of mine reminded me when she asked me about something and i said oh i don't have the money for it and she said how can you say that when you say that it makes it more difficult to have the money so I need to learn to change my thinking to know that and to know that on a regular basis. 
I need to change my way of speaking to go from I do not have to I have. All of this needs to change. I'm not sure how to do it. I am working on an abundance journey and changing my way of thinking. I'm working on looking at what I have instead of what I don't have. Because I do have a lot. Not sure how to do this. If you have any tips or ideas, write it in the chat. And I would love to speak to them. Again, I cannot stay long. I'm having trouble talking without coughing. I'm not coughing right now, but it's something that I need to grow. This is something I need people to comment on and help me through. And I'm hoping that there are people who will tell me, give me ideas of what I can do to make this work for me better than it does now. <coughs> and with that, I'm going to get off. Remember, abundance is not necessarily money. It could be anything that we have and being aware that what we have is good. It's spectacular. Now let's make it, let's appreciate what we have more so we grow more of what we want and not let the so be it angels say, hey, you don't have, it. you say you don't have it, so be it. I want the so be it angels to say, I, you have it and we'll do everything in our power to let it become more. So with that, I am going to wave goodbye. I will be back again tomorrow with another installment about abundance and how I need to grow it. And hopefully you will join me on this journey. Thank you so very much for watching and listening. And if you have any comments, just put it in the chat. Talk to you later. Bye.